Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isometric and in this video we are going to talk about copy scale bone constraint. So first let me add in an armature. Now I'll go ahead and export this on the z-axis like this. Then I'll subdivide it once. Let me duplicate this one in the y-axis like that. Now let's enable the name of the bones because naming is important and also I'll turn on the axis. This represents the local axis of each individual bone. I set this to 0.5 so that I know which bone that axis belongs to. Now, if you go into the wireframe mode, you'll better be able to see local axis of each individual bone. Now, let's go ahead in the pose mode because you cannot add a bone constraint in the edit mode. Now, this is the bone constraint tab. And now I want my bone number three. To copy the scale of my bone number two so i will go ahead and add copy scale now to select the bone number two first we need to select the armature and then in the drop down we will select bone number two now the constraint is added let me scale this up and it is working i can scale this in the individual axis like that and it is working great now the next option that we have in the copy scale constraint is uh, checking which axis do we want to copy scale from now if i disable like x and y now it will only copy the z axis so if i scale this up and as you can see it is only getting scaled on the z axis great now i can disable this uh, let's enable the y and check how the result looks now it is only scaling it on its local y axis so uh, do keep in mind that the axis it is in the local space so it doesn't matter if i scale this on the y uh, of the global y by the way i'm scaling this on global y but it is not getting affected um, so yeah just keep that in mind now the power is really interesting um, if i set this to four now, if I scale this bone by once, uh, which is not possible, I guess, if I scale this bone, um, this bone, the bone number three will get uh, four times larger than the scale that we are adding right now. So yeah, that's how the power works. Now, if you check the make uniform button, I'll just make the power one again. Now, what will happen is doesn't matter on which scale you scale it. Uh, it is going to um, scale the uh, bone number three in a uniform way just like uh, keeping the scale like that so this is really handy uh, when you want your this bone suppose the bone from uh, like to be independent of its scale and doesn't matter what uh, how its scale is um, the copy scale constraint will keep this uh, bone uniform so that is a plus now the offset uh, wait let me show you without the offset so I can scale the bone number two just fine but I cannot scale bone number three so if you need that option then you can click on the offset and then you can scale this bone and then you can additionally scale this bone as well now there is another option in the constraint which is additive which is only available when you um, enable the offset now I think the additive what it does is um, instead of using power I think it adds on the offset so um, I don't know I really didn't see any much uh, difference um, so yeah there is an additive setting and then let's talk about the world space and local space now I have uh, already talked about this in my previous video which uh, which was for the copy rotation constraint and if you want to check that out uh, the explanation over there is in depth uh, i'll just quickly go over some cases now so if i change this to local space both of them uh, i can scale this bone and obviously the my bone is scaling but if i scale my parent bone or the parent of the parent bone it is not working so if you want to make it work then you can just go ahead and target you can set it to local with parent so now it is not only checking the local bone but also its parent scale so you can scale this bone you can then again select the parent bone and then scale that so it will affect itself like that so now select everything hit alt s to 
uh, reset the scale of every bone. So yeah, local space with parent works like that. Now this target and owner space, you have to experiment with what works with yours. Um, but yeah, I usually like to keep uh, everything in the local space. So that's how you use copy scale bone constraint. So in the next video, we will be talking about the copy transform. If you learned something from this video, hit like. And if you want to support this channel, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.